Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we've got a bunch of clips from a couple of the recent live streams where we got quite a few awesome trophies added to the lodge and a lot of these kills were from multiplayer. I think the only one that was not from multiplayer was the uh, piebald red deer actually. The rest of these were off of multiplayer servers so multiplayer has really been delivering lately and it's been kind of crazy some of the stuff that we've managed to get. We ended up getting a big rack Sika along with that piebald red deer and a couple other pretty cool trophies to show off in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember once again, if you have any ideas for future videos, be sure to drop those in the comments and maybe I will pick your idea and put your comment in a future video. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah, let's get straight to it. We have ourselves a level five feral goat. What a beautiful goat. It looks like it's the white variant. Once again, multiplayer delivering. <laughs> yeah, or me another one. Every time, every time you jump in the chat, we get a big goat. Well, let me look at those horns. Ah, uh, this one says troll. This one has troll written all over it. Does not look like it'll be a diamond. Get it to go alert if we can. There we go. Yeah, it definitely looks like a troll. I don't see this being a diamond, unfortunately. It just does not look like a diamond. Those horns point straight up on the tips, which is never a good sign with these guys. There we go. That was a double lung. Alright, let's look at these horns. Yeah, they kind of point up at the ends. I don't like that. That looks like it's going to be a troll. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pick this thing up. Yeah, like I said, 201. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What I've noticed is in order for them to be diamond, these, uh, the tips of their horns, um, you see how these go straight up? They have to be kind of like straight out instead. Instead of going straight up like that, they got to go out that way. And so, yeah. Unfortunate, but still a big one. Still a big goat. Looks like twisted bullhorns. Pretty much, man. That is pretty much what these uh, smaller fives look like. Oh my gosh. It's a guaranteed troll. <laughs> I knew we'd find something eventually. You just keep going to these lakes, but it's a troll. Guaranteed troll. Wow. What a goat to find, guys. A guaranteed troll level 5. Max score of 201 on that. Ooh. That's actually got a better chance of making diamond. Hold on. That one's got a much better chance. Its horns even look like the right horns. This is either... Uh, this is either the small horns that score like 180s, or it's the big horns. I can't tell the length of them from here. There we go. Okay, it was a good shot. Nice. Yeah, this guy. This is sad, though. <laughs> it's sad when you find a max level, but it's a guaranteed troll. Like, my gosh. Yeah, 199. That's sad. That's really sad. Almost a full 10 points below diamond. Gotta love these goats, man. I mean, the black and white fur type's cool. I'm glad we finally got on max level with that, but... So sad that it was a troll, and such a bad troll, too. Oh, yeah, this is the tiny one. Yeah, 185. That is the tiny one. It's definitely piebald. Alright, well, I guess we will see. Let's go ahead and smoke this guy. If we can from here. It definitely does look different, like... It definitely looks strange compared to the others. Let's get that down. Alright guys, the moment of truth. Is this a piebald? Or have we been trolled by the nighttime? We got trolled by the nighttime, guys. <laughs> it's not a piebald. Unfortunate. Not a piebald. Well, that's a real piebald. That, that's a real piebald. 
We actually found one this time, guys. We, wow. Oh my gosh. This is the same herd, I think, that produced. No, actually it's not. The last herd that produced a piebald was kind of like up in these mountains. We got a piebald right here at this zone. If you guys remember that video, we got one right there that was a big level six. So this is probably a different herd. Wow. I knew it would eventually pay off every time that I've shot the males out of the herd that's feeding right here. Because as I was showing you guys earlier, I found a ton of feed zones for red deer that are just all along this area. And I've just been shooting the males every time I go here doing a seeker run. And it's finally paid off with a really cool red deer. That is awesome. That is so awesome. And I think that's my favorite rack too. Actually, no, that's a 50-50 rack. Half of it is my favorite. And then the other half is the palmated type. That is so awesome. That is so awesome, guys. Get that guy down immediately. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, this map is officially the best for red deer. Like, there's no debating that. It is the best for red deer. There's just so many zones for them. But we'll take that guy next. I'm gonna need to set up a stand here now. Oh no! Panic mode. We were zeroed for 300. Oh no. Time to panic, guys. Oh no. Ah, no, it died! Are you kidding me? Ah. Why? Why? Just why? <sighs> I can't believe we messed that up. It definitely wasn't a spine. It definitely wasn't a spine. I think it was flesh. I think we flesh shot it. Bleed rate very low. That is the saddest thing I've seen all day. I mean, I'm still happy that we got it, but... Man, that is heartbreaking that we screwed that up. such a beautiful piebald and we messed it up I can't even get like a good picture either because it's at nighttime well let's go ahead and claim this guy there it is <laughs> we did spine it KC why'd you jinx us man you jinxed us it's beautiful regardless but I'm just so sad that we messed it up. Such a cool red deer. I really want to find a big albino or a big melanistic. This is like the third or fourth big piebald red deer I've had in the past like year. This is the fourth level six or level seven piebald red deer we've had in the past year. I really want to get either an albino or a melanistic that's this size, but it seems like piebalds are way more common than the melanistic or albino. That right there is a monster Sika deer. Like an absolute monster. I am debating on whether or not I want to take a super long shot or not. I don't think we'll take a long shot. Um, I think we'll get a little bit closer, right as I'm talking about. How I'd love to find a red spotted diamond seeker. This is not a red spotted, I don't think. But that is a giant. That is a giant seeker deer. What a beauty. That is absolutely awesome. We will get to like 150 and try to smoke this guy. In fact, that's actually perfect right there. Zero to 150. Let's go ahead and get lined up on this guy. And that's a heart shot. I think that was a heart shot. It looked like it. That is crazy, guys. Watch it be red spotted? I mean, I guess there is that small chance that it could have been a red spotted and I just wasn't seeing it. And it's a brown. Oh, this looks like Big Rack.
This looks like big rat guys. 216.80. It is big rack. Oh my gosh. We got a big rack diamond Sika. Holy, that thing is huge. It's a big rack. Oh my gosh. It's a big rack brown fur diamond Sika that is almost max weight. 74.88 on the weight. Max is 75. That is a huge Sika deer. Oh my gosh. This is the one rack that I was missing from my Sika deer collection. That is insane. That guy is so huge. That's like 16 points bigger than my best diamond Sika deer from the live game. That's crazy. Oh, what what are you doing here? Whoop. Okay. <laughs> well then, that was crazy. Alright everybody, so we have two really awesome trophies to show off in the lodge today. And one of them is this absolutely giant piebald red deer. I still can't believe we managed to find another piebald red deer so close to the other one that we got. The level 6 we just got like a week ago, so the fact that we were able to get another one is absolutely insane. And... Well, I guess it really pays off to check spots that you haven't checked before because that's where this guy was. We had never hunted the Red Deer drink time and lo and behold, he was at one of the rivers just chilling there. That is absolutely insane. I'm super happy that we decided to go on a Red Deer grinding session because we actually found a lot of zones for them. This map easily has the most Red Deer zones out of all of the maps. It's kind of crazy just the sheer amount of stags that I was able to see in like a couple hours of hunting for them. But he is not the only insane trophy that we got because we have this big rack Sika Deer right here. And as I was saying in the video, this completes our Sika Deer collection from what I can tell at least. There might be more racks to find, but we have the big rack diamond right here that has the four tines at the top. We have a very similar looking one that has a little bit less tines as you can see. It's almost as wide, but it only has three tines at the top and this was actually a level four. And then down here we have the small rack diamond scoring 198.9 along with a couple trolls that look very similar. But yeah, we have three different racks that made diamond. That's pretty crazy. I'm glad that there's good variety with the Sika Deer. I'm kind of hoping there's at least one more that we have not found. I know for a fact there are some Sika Deer that score like 205, 207, 212. So I'm hoping that we can get one of those eventually and kind of compare them to see if there's any differences. But yeah, this is quite the trophy. I still can't believe that we actually found one. And off of multiplayer of all things. Just goes to show how good multiplayer is. And this one right here was actually on a brand new map because the one that we had joined into, it was actually this guy's first time playing on the map. So that's probably why we were able to get this. And actually one of one of the people in my chat actually got a monster feral goat off of the same server. I think it scored like 222, which is an absolute giant. So that map in general just had a ton of awesome trophies. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. Once again, if you have any suggestions for a future video, be sure to drop those in the comments below and maybe I will pick your idea and put your comment in a video. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. I do post seven videos a week along with five live streams, so there's plenty of content to be had. Also consider liking the video. It's a massive help in getting this video recommended to new viewers. But with all that being said, Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!